All right, everybody. I'm Zach. And I'm Tim. And we are here at the finals of the Imperial Assault Tournament recently held at the Covenant Store Tulsa. On the left, we have Dennis Harleyan. Big D. And yeah. he is... Run down his list for me, Tim. He's running uh, Darth Vader. I hear he's okay. I hear he's all right. Uh, he's got two Royal Guards, regulars, okay. and then three Imperial Officers. Seems <clears throat> seems okay. And on the right there, we have Ian Schaefer. Yeah, and Ian's running a Stormtrooper uh, squadron, a set of four officers. Officers seem to be okay these days. Uh, two elite probe droids and two regular royal guards. So he's not running any fancy, unique dudes. He's just running a bunch of dudes. And he, he has nine deployment cards. Yeah, that's a lot versus Dennis's uh, six. And that's activation economy, something that we will talk about a lot probably throughout this game and in mm -hmm. the future of this game. Um, and these two players are playing the Data Heist Scenario A uh, at the Kuat Space Station map, which is what we're on now. Rules of that are the doors are locked, part one. There's two doors you'll see on the top right of the map. At the start of each round, for each terminal the player controls, he may open one door of his choice. Uh, at the end of each round, close both doors. Then the player controls the data core, which is on the top right of the screen right now. You can see like a, a light blue. Yeah, that entire room is the that data entire core. room. Uh, whoever controls that at the end of a round gains ten victory points. So start of each turn, if you have a terminal, you can open a door. At the end of the round, they close and lock are locked again. And then whoever controls that room at the end of each round scores ten points, which is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a it's a quarter of your points. And we have Ian here. So he's moving up towards that uh, lower terminal, it looks like, with that first group. And he's got that other group towards next to the door where he's just ready to storm that room. <laughs> storm. Pun intended, I suppose. <clears throat> and Dennis is moving some guards over there? Where's this other guard that moved with that? I think he used an officer to command the guard. Oh, that makes sense. Yep. Uh, and, you know, I'm curious here. You have Vader over there next to the door. So uh, there's two ways to look at this scenario, right? You have Darth Vader, who's a very threatening, large, like, just huge presence, hard to get rid of, kills things Lots really of easily. Lots of points. Um, he would be very good at both getting terminals or holding the room. So what's your take on Dennis's positioning here? He's obviously going to be trying to open the door and then storm Vader in and kind of just hold the, hold the fort for the, hold the hill. I think that makes sense. Like, I just think it's going to be really hard to get these doors open. Like, yeah, I feel like Vader is more valuable, at least for now, unlocking that door. Or yeah. keeping Ian from unlocking it. Yeah, I think with that many officers, too, you could you could send Vader over to make sure that you can hold down a, a terminal to open a door, right? And you could also officer, like, the turn that you, you get it open, officer him into the room. Yeah. Like, he can move fast enough to get in there. I think, you know, I, I almost feel like it's kind of a trick. Like, the it's worth 10 points to get in there, and if you can get a model in there, you can just win the game. Yeah. But for me, it's like I would, especially with Vader, I would almost be holding down the terminals. Yeah, I would definitely be just doing that. and just wrecking their board because once you get a model advantage, I think this this scenario favors you. And in and Dennis's it, case, he's already down. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to get to that point. Yeah, Ian just has so many models. Yeah, so this is actually probably the the best of what Ian wants, honestly, because Ian's disadvantage is he doesn't really have any. I mean, the Royal Guards can hit pretty heavy, but like super heavy hitters like Vader, right? So if Vader just stays over there by the door, mm -hmm. you're having a good time. Yeah. And it could all be a ruse. Maybe you want him to think Vader's not moving, and then you actually move him over in. It's possible. I, I mean, it's just there's so many or so few activations you're going to get at the end of the day. That's uh, true. There's only so many activations. And, and just dilly-dallying over there by that door without doing anything, it's hard to justify those 18 points that you spent. If, if he can unlock the door. It's great. But if Ian's smart and doesn't let him unlock the door, then it's going to be a lot more That's of a the bummer. trick. That's the trick, right? And you don't want to unlock the door and then sit a squad of stormtroopers in there to have to deal with Vader. Yeah, that's true. But I think... You will do it for 10 points, though. Yes. Absolutely. Or for anti-10 points. Yeah, either one. But hopefully the, the positive version. This is a very cool map. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, this was the first time either of these players have played this scenario or seen it even. Yeah, we recently had the first wave of Imperial Assault coming out. Mm -hmm. and uh, Out of seven new maps, yeah, 14 each, new scenarios. Each expansion, including an addition to the campaign and also an extra set of scenarios and a map for a skirmish. So here we go. First attack. Royal Guard poking the other Royal Guard around the corner with Reach. Looks like three damage. Plus two damage and stun. Got the double surge there on the yellow die. 
And he's stunned. Stunned stun is a huge condition. Uh, basically, if you're stunned, next time you activate, you have to take your first action to become unstunned. Two activations per turn if, if you're not super familiar with this yeah. game. And uh, that's a huge swing as far as... Because now he's not going to be in range to hit anything or move to stop the terminal. Um, unless an officer moves him around the corner. Right, which is probably... Which might be why we see officers occasionally. Here the guards, they're going. So they hadn't actually gone, they'd just been moved by officers. Uh, that stunned pretty good because now he's gonna have to unstun. He can move, but he can't also attack, which means he's not gonna repay that damage. Right. I love models with stun. That's good. It's very, it's probably my favorite keyword in the game. It's keyword condition? condition? Condition. It's just so brutal. Like I said earlier, you have so few activations ultimately. Yep. When you just squander some of those on, I'm gonna unstun. It's just a bummer. All right, he's unstunning. Number one stunner. Number one unstunner. hey -o. All right, taking his, his activation to move. The other guy's coming in. Yep. Pokety poke poke. Would you have moved that other guard next to that terminal still? Yeah. Um, Ian, move the... I think he ultimately moved the wrong guard first. If he'd moved the second one he's attacking with now, he could then move the damaged one also next to the terminal and still... And have two units contesting it. Yeah. But either way, I mean, Royal Guards there are going to be nice because they're, they're going to offer beefy. each other the extra... Yeah. He uh, could have still got the bonus, though, I think. Yep. And he's moving in. You definitely... <clears throat> the use of Royal Guards next to other models, they offer a free block to adjacent models Which once per attack. Which is ludicrous, by the way. Yeah, against, against things that don't do a massive amount of damage in a single attack, it's super powerful. So... I've, I've seen a lot of players basically mispositioning those and not really getting the full benefit. That's why that's pretty much why they, they're a pretty good attack and they have reach and they do they have stun and they're a good model. But like, that's why you run them. It's really good, especially if you're running like officers and things like that. I I love it on Vader. Yeah, uh, Vader getting stunned is just brutality. It's very bad. Uh, one activation with Vader is really bad. So it's brutality. <laughs> it is brutality. Yeah. See what I did there? I do. That's one of Vader's abilities. <laughs> Show is. It's real funny. All right, we got another attack. Dennis oh, going on oh. the offense early here. Ian playing defense. Looks four like hits. Four hits. Going to get the free block, hopefully. If he remembers it. Yeah. Looks like it. All right, damage is piling. Really interesting, too. You know, you have Dennis here moving away from that door, and it's just player setting up, you know, putting it next to that door. I, I, I wonder, I can't help but imagine that these players would have positioned way differently if they were had a chance to play this again. Yeah. I agree. I just don't... Vader's just dilly-dallying up there. A lot of points to be doing nothing. I want him in there. I want him in the fight. I want him killing everything. Alright. Ian's gonna get a chance to punch here without any repercussion. Pretty, pretty even fight, really. Surge cancel. Looks like Ian got the surge on the attack dice as well, so... Damage! Give me five well, damage. That's, that's wrong. Really? That's the wrong token. Is it? Are you Maybe sure? Not. I mean, he just rolled the surge cancel. So Ian had had a couple damage plus an extra surge. Yeah. One block. That's a gone in Royal Guard. That's fantastic news for Ian. Great use there of of his attacks yeah. and he's right next to that terminal so he's gonna unlock that door next turn looks like yeah if ian can unlock a door and get do vader yeah. can't get there if if ian can unlock a thing and get models in there uh this is gonna be real bad for dennis and ian just has so many more activations did he he just activated vader and did nothing with vader ouch Seems interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think with Vader in a list, I don't think there's any strategy that's correct that is your first turn just doing nothing. So I'm with you. Yeah, I'm in. The, I'm in the boat. I'll tell you what I love. Probe droids are awesome. Probe droids are great. Uh, really phenomenal attack dice, solid health, and they're, you don't really want to do damage to them because they recover, but they also have the explode at the end of the round to do damage to things ability. So. Just really a bad unit to have to deal with, and now he's next to the Royal Guards, so... Here comes Dennis. 
Making sure that door is not coming Didn't open. Didn't he already activate that group? No. Oh, I thought he punched someone with that one. Interesting. Kind of lame seeing Vader just sit there. It's just dilly dallying. I feel like if the other thing you could do on this is send Vader around mm -hmm. and go to where all of Ian's dudes are right now, and then when Ian's door opens up, you go in through his door. Yeah. Or make it where he, even he if he open could the open the door, he won't. <clears throat> all right, Ian's also just passing with all his guys right there. This is bizarre. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel like I would be more aggressive with my models. Like you'd want them to be doing something? Yeah. Not the most exciting round. But, I mean, Ian did remove a... So, round one. Who, who's round one go to? Ian removed a royal guard and did some damage to another royal guard. Dennis? I would say Ian. He he's, His position is better, I think, overall. I agree. Um, and he, I mean, there's two royal guards down there. That's what I was going to say. He's got the two royal guards down south who are going to be able to attack that royal guard and maybe off that one. And that that's just going to get real bad. Yeah. Dennis is already short on models, so him being the first one to lose a model is not good. Right. And Vader's sitting up there not attacking. Vader could be coming down and killing some models every turn. A couple models. Yeah. So I think this is about if, – if Vader doesn't get any action, I think it's about to get real rough. Yeah. I just don't think if – All right, a damage and a stun, but that's not going to matter unless Dennis moves. Do you want to move? No. <laughs> I mean, you do. I mean, so here's the problem, right? Like, if you look at Dennis's list minus Vader, and you pit that against Ian's list, who wins that fight? Ian. Obviously, right? It's the same list. So, like, that's that's I I, I find it really troubling that Vader's just sitting there. Mm -hmm. We'll see if if Dennis sits there again within this turn, then I'm this game is all but over. He's getting out of there. Vader ain't afraid of no ghost. He can command him with that that uh, officer later in the turn. So the guard down south can't just unstun and punch him. If that guard's still alive. That is the... Or, or the, the officer's officer still alive. That's who you kill. Bring that guard up there and just punch him. You know who I target every time? The first time? Every time? Officers. Officers. The three elf, and they're in activation, and they give command. Get rid of those guys. They're yeah. too good. They're too good. Yeah, I would actually, I'd probably go with that probe droid and go try to off that officer. I actually wouldn't want to go in my royal guard yet, because Ian could actually bring in his officer to move his royal guard that's stunned. Right. To give it a shot. Yeah, that's fair. If you were uh, Dennis here, would you move that uh, royal guard one closer to the officer so he can get cower? It seems like it's okay, and block, a free block. Looks like Ian's using the road guard, the red road guards in the middle of the board. Three surges, all the surges. That's as many surges you can get on those two dice. All right. Man, I feel like this is going really well for Ian. He is playing all things well. considered. I mean, it's almost like Vader's not even in the fight. <laughs> oh, wait. Because he's not. He's Ew. not. All right, so two more on the guard there. Not looking good for Mr. Royalty, whatever you <laughs> want to call Mr. him. Mr. Royalty. I'm let's trying. Call him, let's call him Edgar. His name's Edgar. All right, Ed for short? No. Mm. He hates that. He won't hate it for long because he'll be dead. hey -o. All right, he's dropping a stun. He's going with that guard because he doesn't want to lose he's him. He's going to punch. And that's, the that's the one in the group with the, the model that's already dead. So Ian's well on his way to eight points here if he can get rid of that last guard. That's pretty good. All right, almost dead. Not quite. Those road guards are beefy. Yep, eight They're health. Beefy. Eight health, and next to another road guard, they're getting that protect, so it's pretty tough to mm. punch through. I love it. Unless your name's Vader. Well, but Vader is Vader. Who was just standing by a door. <laughs> uh, just sitting. I was just sitting here, not fishing. Oh, man. Twiddling his thumbs. Can you imagine Vader twiddling his thumbs? Nope, I don't. I can't whistling. go there. He's just whistling. I'm really curious to see if either of these players get a door open. Ian's in a position to do it. 
And I feel like once that start, those points start racking up, this is just a downhill roll. Officer coming in. Oh, you got commanded by the other officer. Very curious. All right. That's fair. You know who I love, Zach? I love elite Imperial officers. Here we go. Yeah, they're really good. Officer uh, moving Vader, so Vader might be getting back in the action here. Or in the action for the first I time I mean, that's the, the hope, I think. Which I don't think it'll be this turn. Vader's not the fastest guy in the world. He can, he can move around the corner and force choke. You have to line the side, don't you? Yeah, he can force choke those uh, guards down there. You have to go past that first officer, right? You could just go like that, you know, around that corner. He can get there. Four. Yeah. So, I mean, he's also got... Two, Dennis has two more officers to get him wherever he wants, right, right, right. honestly. I'd be bringing Vader in for some sweet justice. That's the goal. All right, he's going to move, and I imagine... Command? Does Command give you... Like, use up the stun there? Uh... I don't think so. I wonder if it like, gives you a free move action, and the next time you'd have an action, you take the stun away instead. Because it looks like the stun... He moved the officer and removed the stun. I think stun just says you can't voluntarily move from your space war attack. I think that might have been a mistake there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Yeah, I really... I feel like... Uh, I feel like that, can, the the door thing is just a trick. It's a trick that pays off if you succeed. Yeah, high risk, high reward. <clears throat> and I'm still like Ian is still in prime because prime prime positioning to get in that door. Absolutely. Just move those stormtroopers in there and then just like relax. <laughs> just hang out by the spot, the pool, the hot tub in there. Put on a new record. All right. We got a Royal Guard punch coming in. Taking two. Moving back. Three more damage. Whew. He he's getting three beat health left. Yeah. Pretty bad here. Ah. It's tough. I, I really, really feel like Ian could have done better there by going after the officers instead of the, the guard. It's tough. If Dennis is down like two more activations a turn, mm -hmm. I just don't see a way for him to possibly do anything. Here comes Vader. So is Vader left and that's it? Yeah. Vader's going to try to hold down that terminal. That's fair. I think that's a fair strategy. I wish he would have done this turn one. Yep. Officer shooting the uh, Royal Guard there. Going to get the free block. Officer needs the range. Going to be blocked. I think Ian is uh, taking the damage, thinking Protector is only going to trigger off of once a turn, but I'm pretty sure it's once an attack. I'm pretty sure it is, too. Going to get confirmation on that here. Yeah, once per attack. Yep, yeah, one protector will be used per attack. So even if your next two raw guards, it would only be one protect. Um, things you learn when you're playing this game. All right, trying to off the road guard. I think that will net him eight points if he uh, if he so chooses. So we'll see what happens. That those probe droids do some serious serious work. Three dice, man. And rerolling one on the elites. Yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be into the night for that. All right, Ian jumps ahead to eight points. Kind of even in the field here a little bit. And there's no way Ian's not unlocking a door here. Oh, that's brutal. Yep. <laughs> he, he's about to cruise to victory lane here, baby. 
So he gets eight points. He's going to open a door because Vader can't stop both terminals, right? Correct. And then uh, at that point, you just send, like, I don't know, one stormtrooper in there. All of them. Why not? I just put one, man. Send the other ones in to fight. That's fair. Because Dennis is going to still have to open a door and get a guy into the room for it to matter. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, you might send, like, two... That's fair. In case he gets that officer he's holding up top in the door, just so you can maybe win that fight. But I don't know. It's looking pretty good if, if your name's Ian and you're on the right side of the screen. Brutality. Vader's finally going. And this is where Vader can sing, because he could he could seriously kill both of these models. Ah, uh, the red dice got three hits. I don't know what that means. Three. It's five hits and two surge, I think. One surge. So he's going to... He's going to do the pierce, and he's going to get five damage there. Now we have a protect, so four damage. Boom. I don't think he used protect. Come on, Ian. Just do it. Oh, wow. Taking five. Yeah, and if, if, if you're so Ian Vader's here. So Vader's not opening a door this turn, but Ian is. Yep, which is really good. Start racking up those points, and that. So one of the big problems when you're facing a list with Vader is that he's 18 of their points, mm -hmm. and that can be really good because you could stun him, or if you kill him, you get 18 points. But if you can't kill him, that means you have to get 20 points from something else, yeah, right? or 18 points from something else. So in this case, Ian be able to slide into this room and at least probably get 10 points right here uh, is really pretty good. Now the other trick, and I, I think this is something that is being overlooked a little bit is that it's opening the door for the turn. So you could literally get into that room through the same door. You just have to go go get it. So I was kind of surprised there. He could have used the officers to send one of his Royal Guards around the corner and up the field, because the Royal Guard can move 10. Imperial Assault maps are surprisingly small when you count 10 spaces. So like right now, the Royal Guard middle left for Dennis over here is 15 spaces away from that room through Ian's door. Yep. With one command, he has enough speed to get there. Yep. The question is, will he do it? We'll see. I was playing a, a game the other night, and I sent Diala across the board with a thing that gave her speed plus two, mm -hmm. so I moved 12 spaces. And uh, it was It was crazy. Like, I was on a map, it was a, one of the Tatooine maps, and just how far across the board she can get in a single turn. Yeah. I remember when we first started playing, we didn't know you could move diagonally. Yeah, that changes the or game. Or count spaces diagonally for range, or... And that changed a lot of things. I was like, man, it takes a lot of movement. This is a slow-moving game. And then we figured out that that was incorrect, and we just had our minds blown. Yep. We'll see if Ian opens the door here. Don't forget... Open the door. He's got it. Yeah, and then you know what I like? I like... You could... You could screen where... Uh, you, on the Over on the right here, you could put models in such a way that Dennis, to get into that way, would have to basically go through two of your models, mm -hmm. which is four extra speed. Uh, with two extra speed, because the ex one extra per space. Right. And make it almost impossible for him to get all the way. But again, Dennis, it, the the trouble with Vader is that you don't have nearly as many activations, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's that's going to be a problem very soon. Yeah, I can totally see that being the problem. When you need to like get into a room, kill models, hold a terminal, and control a different room, there's only so much you can do with yeah. <laughs> five activations. It's true. Focused. Wow. Yeah, so he's, that's good. A probe droid that's focused is even scarier. Four dice. Dems a lot of dice. Four dice, and you can reroll one. Yeah. Mm. All right, Vader's brutality. And elite probe droids are only five points. Only. Now you can only run two elite of a card, right? Yep. Otherwise, eight of those bad boys. All right. One roller guard down. Dennis looks like he's about to score eight points unless this roll just goes really bad for him. 
and it might. All right, we're tied eight and then to he's eight. Gonna force choke that uh, officer there. Very likely. That's what I would do. But what do I know? Nothing. D dims the beats. <laughs> dims the beats. Oh, man. What? No, I think a movement's fine. Get Invader into the action to kill all those other mobs. But I, th I think this is... <clears throat> if Vader had been doing this from turn one, I think it's a significantly different game. Yep. He's just beaten, beating down all of Ian's models. But now it's time for the probe droids to try to kill these officers, in my opinion. We'll see. I don't exactly know what's happening here. A lot of pointing, a lot of rolling. I see pointing and hand gestures and the fish is that big. Now I know what's happening. Killing that guard. That's fair. Yeah, because that, that guard hasn't gone yet. Yeah. The other guard's almost dead, too. Yeah. That's almost another eight points. Uh so Dennis is down to five activations. And one, two, three, four, five models. Yeah. Focus is such a good good thing. It does it does work. Mm. So, Ian is probably going to get 10 points at the end of this turn. Odds are good. I would th I would think. He's already at 8. You may tell you what's going to be a problem. Vader? No. I mean, Vader is. He's going to kill things. If Ian can kill everything except Vader, <laughs> then I, and I had this happen the other night. I was playing against Vader. And when they just have Vader as an activation, it's hilariously bad. Yeah. He can just run circles around him. He only moves four. Side note. <laughs> yep. Um, but I think that if Ian gets control of this room here this turn, that's ten points this turn. Probably ten points next turn. And then probably ten points for the rest of the game. Like. Yeah. All right, use an officer to move Vader next to the terminal. I don't, don't exactly know why, but that's cool. I really hope that Ian doesn't attack Vader here with that probe droid that it's focused. Yeah, there's there's zero reason to attack Vader. I think I think at this point, because you're about to get ten more points, right? So you've things. you've gotten your eighteen points that aren't Vader. I would probably move that other probe droid next to all three of those things and just blow up. Well, those <laughs> things haven't activated. The guard has. Yeah. Boom, boom, pow. And one of the officers has right. Yeah. yeah. Here comes the focus probe droid. Don't shoot Vader. Shoot Vader. I think. Yeah, I, I mean, that's fine. I don't know that it's the best. I just, there's just not a reason. In my opinion. I agree. I mean, Vader is in a position to, for you to be able to do a bunch of damage to him, but, like, it's just risky. It's just not worth your time right now. Like, when you could be getting rid of models. Yeah, you can get rid of models and activations and get more points. Yeah. Four damage on Darth. You got only got 12 left. Only 12. Uh, I can't stress how important it is to have activations. It is the game. It's so important. Guess that guard hasn't gone. We'll see if that five damage comes along with him. Two damage, not gonna kill the officer. Not enough to kill him. That's, That's brutal. So <laughs> Cause now the officer's gonna get a move, attack, and block you from keeping that uh terminal. Terminal. Yep. Still a tie game. And Vader does work. Vader can kill all these models if he wants. Yeah. 
Probes. I think Dennis is loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, that's yeah. where you want to be. Pokely Doke. Okay. Whew. That was about to be. That was funny. That's fair. The guard that has three health left. Yep. Yep. A lot of surge. Gonna deal four damage, gonna score eight oh. more points. Now we're up 16. Probably gonna score 10. 26. Uh, so you only need 14 more points. What? If he scores 10 at the end of this round. Okay, I was That's like, I said, yeah. We I did missed math that. and I said then he only needs 14. Yeah, I missed that. Um, which which he's only gonna be able to get. Of the room and then I was gonna say, which he's only gonna get six from if he kills all his officers. All right, well, uh, what is it? Dennis down to four activations here, and he only has two officers left. Yep. So not looking so terrible for Captain Ian. He's going to be able to open that door, sneak into the room, gain 10 points, and uh, we'll see what Vader can do. I, I, I won't ever doubt the power of Vader. He kills things. He does kill things. I, uh, I was in a game the other night where my opponent played um, the Lord of the Sith, Every time he kills a model during his activation, he gets another activation or another yeah. action. And then he also had Force Lightning, do which it. killed models and it's not an attack. And he can Force Choke to kill a model and not an attack. And he can Brutality to get two attacks and get actions. And he had the uh, um, Lord of the Dark Side, which is he choose one of my models to attack with and attacks yeah. with them. He killed like seven models one turn. That's a lot of models. Yeah, I, I lost. <laughs> I lost. There it is. Here come the troopers. He's loading it up. Yeah, it's looking bad for Dennis here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We'll see. It, it is, again, with Dennis with so few models, the problem is at this point is going to be getting into the room. Yep. To prevent him from continuing just to gain yep. 10 points. And then once you're in the room, surviving. Yeah, the squad of Stormtroopers raid. Right? It's the firing squad. Um, but I'm telling you, if, if this turn had been Officer Order Vader 4, Officer Order Vader 4, Vader, move, move. He could be in that room. Yeah. And this is a different game. And that's what I'm saying. I, th I think the, the, the act of opening the doors is a trick. <laughs> Whoever opens it is fine. Like, I'll let you open the door. I'm going to get in there. Yeah, I'll try to. Because once, once Vader's in that room, I think Dennis just wins. Uh, yeah, probably. He just wins. You have to kill Vader with only what's in the room. And when the door locks, you're st everything yeah. else is stuck. No, you know where you never want to be? Locked in a room with Vader. That is correct. You can ask Hanum later about that. Um, hey, but Yeah, I mean, even imagine if, if Dennis's first turn, instead of Vader just sitting there, he moves. Moves, moves, to head towards that way. Turn two, moves, moves. And it starts clearing out the And hallway. it's like, well, I have a guy on my side of the door, and then I have a guy where all your crappy dudes by the door are. That's Vader. What do you do about that? And you say what you do, you die. You, you probably would die. And you don't unlock the door. Interesting things. A lot, of learn, a lot to learn about this game. Each scenario, each list against other lists. Like, I think if you're, you know, playing as Han Chu, you approach this differently. Yeah. If you're, if you're, yeah, it just totally, radically depends. He's just denying us a door. It's like, no. Yep. You can't have one. 
Well, at this point, all he, all he really needs to do is kill kill two officers and stay in that room for two turns. Yeah. That is what you want. A locked door that Darth Vader can't open. Realistically, though, Vader would just cut that door down. So if you're in this situation here, Zach, what do you do? Uh, I get Vader in that room. Who are, are you asking? Like, at this point in the game? Yeah. Uh, I try to use Vader to kill... I mean, the, the problem is, it's so many points for being in that room. Mm hmm That, like, Ian... You can't kill all of Ian's models fast enough to open a door to get Vader in. Right. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I probably take a bathroom break and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> Can we pause for a minute, guys? I gotta go to the restroom. Okay, so Hear the car peeling out in the, in the parking lot. All right, so what are we doing? Yeah. Vader's Vader. just gonna go ahead and choke him out. Choke him out. Choking the guard. Seven health, Vader only swinging for six. Dennis thought he was striking gold, and uh, instead, nope. All right, looks like he's attacking the officer. And he's dead. So Dennis is going to scale right up to eight points, going to remove an activation. Now. I mean, ten points. Going to remove an activation from Ian. So not terrible, but again, I think it's too little too late. There's a lot of things here. I think Vader not being in the fray in the turn turn one, I think that the trick of trying to hold, hold terminals and separate your models when you don't really need to. You just threaten Vader in the middle of this board, and you let your opponent open the door if they want, and then I'm gonna get Vader in. Yeah, it's it's tough. All right. Looks like we've got a probe droid coming in. Can he off the officer? I hope so. No. I mean, three dice is is good. So Dennis has three officers left to activate. It's fair. Yep. Yeah, because Vader already went. Gonna go there before so he dies. Good. I wish I did. That would have worked great against these guys, but that's why he's been losing to the two of you guys. Some commentary from Tim in the background there. So we got 26 points here to 10. I really just don't see a way out for Dennis. Um, how are you feeling about Dennis's it's, odds right here? It's bad. Um, realistically, Ian only needs to kill two officers to win. Yeah, because he's going to get ten points at the end of this round, right? Yep. Go get him. All right, one of, one of them. 28 points. One more, and we're out of here. Uh, been quite the game. Ian dominating really from the beginning, and Vader just sitting in the corner crying to himself. Um, At me! Well, about that. <laughs> um, so Ian just needs to kill that officer that has one health left. No, no, no. It's Ian's officer that has one health left. Didn't the probe droid do two damage to the officer in the middle? And I think it just killed the officer that's dead. No, that was the the officer that killed the officer in the bottom. Maybe. Maybe you're right. I thought so. Anyways, he's got a royal guard right there to kill an officer. Try to.
So Ian probably going to snipe 10 points at the end. Even if he doesn't kill the officer this round, it's still, this is just a matter of time. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> I think Vader may uh, get that terminal this round if he wants it. It'll do a lot of good this turn. It won't do it again this turn, Zach. It's, uh, it's a joke. It's a Yep. Um... Yeah, I mean, this is just an exercise in futility now, I think. Yeah. Ten points for controlling that room is crazy. It's a lot of points. This is the scenario from the uh, Royal Guard champion, mm -hmm. which is cool. This map's really cool for that. All right. Here comes the probe droid. This is smelling like a, a clean sweep here. Just got a surge cancel. Gonna go to 30 points, and I think that's gonna seal it for, for Ian here. Yeah, there's there's no way out of it. Brutal. Brutality. All right, moving the officer, moving the stormtroopers. And uh, that's going to be the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Very congrats to Ian. The Empire wins. The Empire always wins. Yep, all right. Yeah, 40 to game. 12. Great game. Congrats to both of you guys for making it this far. And congrats to Ian for taking down the Dark Lord of the Sith himself, kind of. Darth Dennis. Darth Dennis. We'll catch you guys next time. Uh, if you need anything Imperial Assault related, we have that on our store, teamcovenant.com slash store. And uh, we'll catch you on future Imperial Assault yep, videos. See you guys later.